Uh, well, I'm going to begin by asking you uh, what first attracted you to Cinderella and how did you come to be involved? Um, I auditioned and I was incredibly excited about going to the audition because it was basically going to be me sat in a room with Kenneth Branagh <laughs> going through scenes and playing for a few hours. Um, and uh, that's why I was incredibly excited because I already knew that Kate Blanchett was attached and Kenneth Branagh was directing and it's Cinderella <laughs> and the script was so be beautifully um, kind of classic and traditional. It just seemed like a, a, a movie that was going to be great to be a part of. So was the, the Disney, the original sort of animation Disney Cinderella, was that one of your favourite Disney films growing up? And if not, what was your favourite Disney film? Um, I think uh, pr probably... Jungle Book or Dumbo were maybe my, my favourites, although I did love Beauty and the Beast as well. Because ah, there's a Dumbo, they're, they're rebooting Dumbo. If you, yeah. Uh, you should uh, give your agent a call, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, yeah, how are they, do are they doing it with real elephants? I'm what? assuming they'll use a real elephant, or maybe a sort of a hot part elephant, part CGI, I don't know what yeah. they're doing. It should be quite good. Interesting. I know. But um, as for playing one of the, the sort of stepsisters, it allows you to be really kind of over the top, very kind of exuberant. It must have been a, a role that you had sort of so much fun to sort of play. Yeah. I mean, it was... Um, uh, Ken kind of encouraged us to be silly and to be over the top. And um, I mean, he initially encouraged us to kind of ground the performance in some sort of... Um, reality for ourselves and um, kind of understand the psychology of the sisters and create a backstory and then once that was established it was there was a sense of of kind of play of just push it as far as you can go be as silly as you can go and uh, it's fine because we can always rein it in if it's too much yeah, it I, never never seemed to be because <laughs> I mean the film is so good natured and kind of enchanting and it's just kind of so charming I, I was wondering if if that kind of informed the, the atmosphere on set so when you're making a movie of this ilk does that kind of playfulness sort of translate into the into the sort of the actors when they're just sort of walking around on lunch breaks and stuff like that yeah I mean, I mean I think the sets were so um epic and grand that there really was particularly in the ball scenes there really was this that kind of sense of, of of magic that goes into that process um and I think we f we filmed at Pinewood Studios which I think was perfect for this movie because there's that really kind of sense of old school kind of history and glamour um, to Pinewood um, and I think that's kind of what this this movie embodies and so it did kind of feel feel like a, a magical process. And I was wondering because I mean your role was one of my favourite in the movies because it reminded me of sort of myself when I'm like five years old <laughs> and it's, yeah. it's that real kind of like if I want it I'll sort of take it sort of attitude. I was wondering if you sort of connected to your inner child or or any kind of family members you might have and sort of use them as a kind of base. Well I mean completely we were Sophie and I was talking about ages of step of the stepsisters and we kind of you, you, you agree they're either that they're either 16 year old girls or toddlers that the, the ages that they that they're kind of like so self-absorbed that they can't see anything outside of their own needs and desires and wants and they have no uh, sympathy or empathy they have just they just have no empathy um at all and i think and, and no consideration for anyone else um um uh, but i don't um I don't, think I, I don't think I can cast my mind back to a time that um, when I was a, a toddler in my own little centre of the universe. But I do, um, uh, I did kind of, I have a few mates that are close sisters and I think I kind of based the sibling rivalry on that kind of, on experiencing that kind of sibling rivalry growing up, that kind of love-hate relationship with your sisters. And you were mentioning that... Um it was shot in Pinewood and it did look mm. incredible. And I was wondering, when you, you're in a movie of this sort of ilk and, and everyone's sort of dressed up and stuff, do you ever forget that you're shooting a movie? Do you ever see Lily and just think, oh, I sort of Cinderella, or was she always still Lily? No, no, no. The first time that I saw her, Lily, in the, the blue ball dress, was I'd seen the, I'd seen the dress in, um, um, in the costume warehouse, but, and it was a beautiful dress on a mannequin, but it wasn't until Lily was in it and I, Sophie and I pulled up in our car to see Lily stepping out of the makeup trailer. And it, it was just, it, it was the first time that I kind of hit home of like, I'm in a Disney movie. I'm, we're making Cinderella because there is Cinderella. And I felt, I think I felt more starstruck seeing Lily in the blue dress than I did meeting Kate Blanchard, actually. It was a light working with Kate. Just to work so closely with Kate as well, that must have been just a joy. Yeah, I, I think she's, uh, 
genius, actually. And <laughs> she's a phenomenal actor. And um, and just to, so just to have the chance to watch her process and see her work is amazing. And then to be part of that. And um, she brings such um, integrity and, and, and truth to a scene that whenever you're in a scene with her, you kind of... Um, you, you kind of you feed off that. There's no there's no uh, there's no escape. You have to believe believe in it, and you uh, you kind of looking in Kate's eyes in a scene. You, you, she she is she is in character, and you can't help but kind of be drawn into that with her. Yeah. And as for sort of collaborating with, with Kenneth, I mean, do you think that it helps that he is an actor himself, or has been an actor so many times that he's kind of able to see things from your perspective? Is he quite generous in that in that regard as a director? Um, yeah, I think so. He's um, um, I think he understands the kind of that acting process, and so he, therefore, I feel like he gives a lot of kind of he invests a lot of faith in his actors, so that he can um, uh, sometimes a- ask quite a lot from you, and that uh, that makes it feel quite um, quite fun and quite fulfilling to work with him because he's not afraid to kind of to push you and push you. Um, uh, because th- you feel like he knows that he'll get it from you if 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 he, he asks you in the right way and that kind of like um, uh, uh, yeah so it it kind of it feels like um uh, sort of every day every day on set with Ken feels like a bit of an acting workshop actually um, yeah of kind of trying new things trying it differently and uh, s- uh, like trying to sort of meet his expectations. So have you considered directing yourself one day? Perhaps I used to when I was younger. Um, always think that I would, and now I'm not sure. Now I know more about it. It's, it seems like a very hard job. I think I'd have to have a story that I wanted to tell to want to direct, rather than it being I want to direct and I'm going to find a story. Yeah. Um, uh, so you never know. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!